Before the United States joined World War II, Hollywood already took sides. In 1939, Warner Brothers produced an anti-Nazi film called Confessions of a Nazi Spy. I am a Nazi spy. I am one of thousands stationed in every part of the United States to steal the secrets of your national defense. There are spies stationed in all of the Navy Yards in Brooklyn, Philadelphia, Newport News. There are Nazi agents in the aeroplane and munition factories at Bristol, Buffalo, Seattle, Boston. The chief United States inspector. A couple days after Pearl Harbor, Franklin Roosevelt requested Hollywood emotionalize the conflict of the war and help spread opinionated awareness by continuing to make and sell movies. Ten days after Pearl Harbor, Roosevelt hired Lowell Mellot to serve as coordinator of government films and liaison between movie industry and the government. Franklin Roosevelt told Merritt, quote, The American motion picture is one of the most effective mediums in informing and entertaining our citizens. The motion picture must remain free in so far as national security will permit. I want no censorship of the motion picture. Film Nior was a new style of movie making that appeared in the World War II era and it showed the darker side of America's armed forces. During the war, producers turned towards making documentaries, which created a new realism in fiction movie making. Hollywood's best contribution to the war effort was morale. Many of the movies produced during the war were patriotic rallying cries that affirmed a sense of national purpose. Combat films emphasized patriotism, group effort, and the value of sacrifices for the larger cause. Warships close in shore shoot Japanese planes out of the sky. Movies were a unifying ritual in tough times during World War II. Because everyone was aware of the war and joined in, movies about World War II were extremely popular. The Big Eights, a powerhouse in the movie industry, grossed about $50 million in 1942, and in the next three years, $60 million. The Big Eights included 20th Century Fox, Columbia Pictures, MGM, Paramount Films, RKO Radio Pictures, United Artists, Universal Studios, and Warren Brothers. Hollywood had more to offer than just making movies. Multiple famous actors put their careers on hold to go and serve in the war. Sir Alec Guinness, or better known as Obi-Wan Kenobi, put his acting career on hold to join the war effort. Sir Alec Guinness would go on to join the Royal Navy. Mel Brooks, who would later write on Spaceball, enlisted at age 17. During World War II, he helped clear bridges and roadways to help the Allied forces advance. Some Hollywood actors traveled around to military bases to provide a show to the soldiers. For example, Bob Hope expanded his war effort to include a comedical show to international USO tours and radio broadcasts from military bases. You want to get us trampled to death, the UK? What's the matter? You blowing your roof or something? I've During World War II, many Americans did not know why we fought. People often criticized that we sent so many troops over. Directors like Frank Carpra, John Ford, and John Hudson enlisted and made documentaries to explain why we fight. And it was to offer civilians an idea of why America is fighting in World War II and why it was necessary. <laughs> 